What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Today I want to talk about something that's been irking me for a very long time. All the way back since Rocket League went free to play and now with Fall Guys going free to play. It's, it's a discussion I feel like that's worth having. So let's talk about free to play. Smash JT. First time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, bell for notifications, leave me a comment. I appreciate any interaction whatsoever. You guys are fantastic, even when we may not see eye to eye on things. I'm learning, I'm growing. I'd like to think we all are, some more than others. So, Fall Guys. Media Tonic announced today that Fall Guys is going free to play. And I'm a little bit torn on this one. A one, because I love Fall Guys and I feel like everyone should be able to play it. And it's a fun experience that, I mean, it's free to play. It's, it's literally made for that, so it's perfect. Where's the controversy come in? What about the people that paid for it initially? And I had the same feelings back when Rocket League happened, and I, I never made a video on that, and I always wanted to, so, so here's another opportunity for it. I'm sure there'll be plenty more in the future too, and that is games that start out charging to to play them to buy them and then eventually going free to play being basically supported by in-app purchases rocket league makes a little bit more sense because they didn't really have that many in-app purchases when it first came out and that's something that they added a as the game grew in popularity and yes to a certain extent obviously fall guys as well not to the extreme but still it had less content when it first came out. So it made sense for the initial purchase. But moving forward, like three, four, five months down the road, a year down the road, people that are still buying it at full price and then get the announcement of, oh, by the way, in June, it's going to be free to play. I don't know, it's kind, of, it's kind of a slap in the face. And yes, I know, I know, they do announce that if you've purchased the game, you get access to free skins and a season pass and all this other stuff. You're not left out in the dark and in the cold. It's it's at least they, they throw you a bone, which is good. But it still doesn't get to the point of the core of the problem. And that is people that enjoy the game, wanting to support the game company, buying it to play it and then finding out, oh, it's decided it's, it's free to play. It's it's. <laughs> It's very frustrating. It's infuriating because it makes me feel like I don't want to buy a game if it may go free to play eventually. And in turn, in the long run, could hurt sales of games in the future and potential success in the future if this is a slippery slope where more and more people feel the way I do, where there's like less risk. Why bother? There's a ton of games out there to play that are already free to play. Rocket League being one of them, which I own the physical cart on Nintendo Switch for, which is like literally useless now <laughs> because it's free to play. It's a very odd predicament. So Fall Guys will be going free to play June 21st and at the same time will be coming to Xbox and Nintendo Switch in addition to the already existing Fall Guys on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. And also it's going to be going from Steam to exclusively on the Epic Game Stores because Epic Games parent company bought it. I think I got that all right. Okay. So it's going to be going to all these consoles. It's going to have cross-play functionality. It's going to have all these great things. And I'm excited about that. I'm just looking at both sides of the story and saying, what about the future? What about the other game companies? What about the products that they're releasing? They're already starting behind the eight ball because these games that came out first already drew the crowd, drew the attention. It's similar to Fortnite, even though Fortnite was always free. It, it already has the, the following. And it's even harder as the video game industry presses on to, to attract gamers to your product if they're already playing a fully fleshed out season pass filled, tons of additional content filled, free to play game and you're offering something that costs money and doesn't have that much stuff. So 
yes, it's the age old question. Yes, it's something that's always been uh, ever since free to play came into picture. But I feel like as we move forward, I feel like it becomes more and more of a challenge for the small indie devs to, to gain any traction. I guess that's my point. And I'm not trying to make an argument just for the sake of argument. It is a genuine concern that I have. Again, I love Fall Guys. I think it's awesome that it's going free to play. I think everyone should definitely play it. It's a very addicting experience that's fun for all ages. I play it with my six-year-old and nine-year-old kids and they love it just as much as I do. And we can't wait to take turns and play the next level and, and laugh and have fun with each other while we're watching someone play and cheer someone on. Even though it's a single player experience, you can still have fun in a group with Fall Guys. And again, to a certain extent, Rocket League as well. So I guess the question I'm posing to you and then something that has come up with this is how do you feel about a game going free to play after they were charging people money for it and taking that money in? Do you feel like it's a bad move on the part of, in this case, Mediatonic for Fall Guys? Or is it a sound business decision and you don't really care about the people that are trying to support the developers by spending full price on these and just to get slapped in the face afterwards? Yes, again, I know it comes with a season pass thing, but maybe people buying it didn't care about the season pass. I know I don't really care about the season pass. I mean, it, it's cool, it's fun, but I don't play the game enough to justify keep keeping up with all the content. So the first season or whatever they allow you to play for free or as part of the core package that I got when I originally purchased it was fine for my purposes. So I guess it's a twist on the uh, the PlayStation Plus and Xbox when they do the if you buy the, the, the PS Store or the Xbox Game Pass, you get the game for free for a, a number of different games. Uh, and it affects people wanting to go out and buy the game directly from the creators of it, where they can just participate in this monthly payment plan and get a whole bunch of games. It's just, I, I, it's the direction the game industry is going. It, I mean, <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, it seems to be leaning more and more towards digital gaming as we go and free to play content and xyz that people get as they as long as they have the console and sometimes pay a, a minor fee every month to incur these games but it doesn't take into account the future and i worry that we're sacrificing the future for the here and now i don't know though maybe that's just me i'd be interested to hear where you guys stand on this situation if if you're excited about fall guys going free to play for all and you don't care about any of the other attachments to it of the future of the game industry or if you're kind of with me on this wondering what this means down the road for other game companies and if this means more free to play more freemium more uh dlc slash add-on supported games that they just try to get people to play and then make their money on the back end it's definitely an interesting dynamic as long as it's done right, if they're not like screwing people over for piles of gold like mobile games do or NBA 2K, whatever it was that was just horrific with the microtransactions. If they do it right, I get it. But it just either way, it's still concerning to me. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smashing.